welcome back to my channel my name is wolo i want to say a very big thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos i live in winnipeg manitoba and i create content about life in canada immigrating to canada and everything that is going to benefit anybody that's actually my usual intro today i am actually in my home office and i am creating this video from my own home office and um with all that is happening around the world, most of the provinces have talked about, you know, reopening the economy. Quebec has also announced they will start um, allowing some um, workers to go back to work as from May 11th. And then Manitoba also announced that today that um, by May 4th, some of the economy, some parts of the economy or some sectors in the economy will be reopened so that they can um, start going back to work. So that's what's actually happening now. And I know some parts of the world, they have actually started reopening the economy, even with the existence of what is happening um, around the world. And um, so today's video is part of the frequently asked questions on immigration. And if you are not aware, immigration still continues. There was an express entry draw today. So immigration is still ongoing. And even Nova Scotia, yes, yesterday, was it yesterday or two days ago, I posted on the Canada Info Hub Instagram page. So if you're not following me on the Instagram page, please follow me on the Instagram page because I usually update information there as well. Um, Nova Scotia gave um, um, notification of interest to bilingual candidates who indicated that they had um, their first language as French in their express entry profile they were given um, notification of interest to submit uh, for provincial nomination from Nova Scotia and people who had um, who were in the occupation of um, I think administrative assistants and some other occupations were given nominations from Nova Scotia that was two days ago but today's video is about British Columbia and British Columbia provincial nomination and BC is one very unique province and um, they are very unique because the weather in BC is unique and of course BC is the most expensive province in Canada. I would say um, Vancouver is the most expensive city in Canada. That's because of the weather. A lot of people go there because of the weather. Now their provincial nomination is also unique and it requires job search and you have the express entry bcpmp the bc skills immigration that's also another type of um, provincial nomination under british columbia so what i want to talk about today is basically for two uh, pathways that i know are very unique that people outside canada can take advantage of normally uh, the provincial nomination is geared towards people who are already living in British Columbia in some low-skilled occupations and they have their own unique requirements. And they also did a video one time where I talked about people who want to do master's degree in certain occupations should choose BC because the moment you graduate after your master's degree, you're eligible for a British uh, Columbia provincial nomination. Uh, immediately you get your certificate. So that one is also there, but there are two unique other um, immigration programs that they have that I want to make people aware of. I don't know how many people are aware of it. And one of them is the British Columbia Healthcare Stream. And then the second one is for the BC Tech. Now these two streams require job search. And of course, you know, Searching for a job is also very, very difficult. For people who have searched for jobs, they know that it's not as easy as it is to search for jobs from outside of Canada. But if you have a Canadian standard resume, you can actually search for jobs and then get a good job offer that will bring you into Canada. And for the BC health sector, they have their website where you can go to search for jobs, and that's the BC Health Match. I'll be showing you the... A picture of the website so that you can go there and start searching for jobs if you're a healthcare professional um, if you're a nurse you can search for a job as a continuing care assistant because you know you need a license to practice in Canada you cannot just work in Canada with your nursing license from outside Canada you need to have gotten your license in Canada before you can actually practice or you can apply for a job as a continuing care assistant or a personal support worker those kind of jobs they are considerable so 
you go to the BC Health Match website and then search for such jobs and apply for such jobs. And of course, if you need a Canadian Standard Resume, send an email to my email and then I will refer you to the HR professional that helps with um, creating a Canadian Standard Resume. So that's for the BC Healthcare. Now for the BC Tech, um, it also requires a job search. And this pilot started in 2016 and a lot of um, people have actually immigrated through that stream to Canada with a job offer in hand. So many people I know are not aware of how they can go about searching for jobs and all that. And I'll be showing you the websites where you can search for technical jobs. Now, the thing is they have listed like 29 occupations. When they started, they actually listed 32 occupations in the IT industry that you can search for a job for and get a valid job offer, let's say a one year contract job offer with, a, with an employer in British Columbia and the employer will um, write to the British Columbia Provincial Nomination um, Unit where they will process your provincial nomination for you and then you come to Canada and then um, under work permit while your nomination and your permanent residence is ongoing. So it was actually 32 occupations when they started in 2016 but now they removed three occupations. I think is it three or two? Yeah, three occupations. They removed they have removed three occupations. What they are left with now is just 29 occupations in the IT industry. I'll also be showing you the list so that you can see the list for yourself. And then I will also be leaving the link of the websites where you can go to apply for jobs in British Columbia. And of course, you know, you can't just send your resumes like that. You need to have a Canadian standard resume that once a recruiter looks at your resume, they will definitely give you a call and start scheduling you for an interview um so yeah so that's the information i want to share today and i'm encouraging people to take advantage of all these things people keep saying it is difficult to get a job from outside canada yes it is difficult but if you are sending your resume to the right employer i mean a good standard resume if you're connecting with employers if you're networking with employers via linkedin and they are seeing your profile definitely they will definitely call you for an interview and if you perform well in your interview you will get the job because trust me there are people who are actually applying for these jobs from outside canada they are getting these jobs and they are coming to canada to do these jobs so i don't know why people cannot take advantage of this opportunity of applying for such jobs from outside canada instead of saying it is difficult Yes, there are tons of people in Thai Canada who are looking for a job. Yes, but if your skill stands out, definitely the employer will employ you. And um, I'll be leaving the website of these opportunities in the description box of this video so that you can take advantage of them. And yeah, just keep applying and then you might get a job offer that will bring you to Canada. So that is the information I want to share today. Of course, you know that in BC, they do not just give nomination like that. You have to search for a job. So once you get a job offer, then you can get a provincial nomination. It is not like the other ones where they will just go to the express entry pool and give people nomination or you apply directly to their province. No, you need a job offer for the healthcare and then for the IT industry for you to be able to get a provincial nomination from British Columbia. So thank you so much for watching and I encourage you to subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.